So anyways, last we left off, we were talking to Beric, and I can't remember what we were going to do. I'm just gonna take a quick look at uh, Vendrin's well. Mm -hmm. Got some stuff here, stuff there. Alta Valley, and uh... Echo Call Crossing. Who the hell is that here? Huh. Well, I guess we'll find out as we leave the area. Okay, we gotta choose. We gotta choose be, be, be between the stuffs. Alright, let's check our missions. Uh huh. Dio's uh, Crossing. Dio's Crossing. Ah, Echo Crawl. Ah, Echo Crawl. Ah. Tongue. Work. Tongue. Echo Call Crossing. And then out of valley, speak with the fifth eye at Scarlet Chorus Camp. Alright. Forge Bound Iron. Da 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 da. Go to a northern clearing to search for the Earthshaker's reinforcement. And if Sotanis has reason to believe that a settlement near Echo Call Crossing would be a good place to start looking for a missing iron. Okay. Looks like Echo Crawl Call Crossing is a good place to go. And, you know. It's a good idea to level up something, I don't know. Gain some influence before we go to a Scarlet Chorus camps to, you know, build, you know, maybe, oh, but Scarlet Chorus camp is right there. And uh, we are on a time limit. Alright, Scarlet Chorus it is. Looks like it's gonna be a while until we get to see combat. Ah! I spoke too soon. Looks like we're gonna see some combat now. Okay. That's far enough, Fatebinder. A woman's voice booms from the top of a nearby outcropping. Flashes of aquamarine body paint peeks out from under her loose fit fitting traveler's grab, and her outfit is festooned in braids and knots of sailor's line. Flanked on either side by, uh, by warriors, dressed in Vendrin guard regalia, the woman leans on an elaborate bladed staff, pulsing with arcane energy. I mean, we call those spears around here, but okay. A swath of blue fabric rests draped over her arm. In accordance with ancient customs north and south, I offer and request a delay of blade. There are matters we must discuss without fear of reprisal. The woman, the woman bows deeply, lowering her head in a practice display of etiquette. The, nor, the warriors by her rear, by her remains in a ready stance, their nerves clearly, clear, 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 clearly on edge. Mm. Okay, my, cause ancient custom north and south. Wow, well, let's see. You have me at a disadvantage. Uh huh. Okay. You had mm, you have me at a disadvantage. Calm down and let us speak at equal ground. I am Eb of the School of Tides, and today I speak on behalf of the Vendrian Guard. Okay, so we're not talking about uh, high ground. We're just talking about identities. Okay, that works too. I advise caution, Fatebinder. Only thing more dangerous than a tearsman is an educated one. Yes, well, I mean, I heard about your disfavored ranks and your lack of uh, literacy, but uh, we can talk about that some other day. Mm -hmm. Metal articulation groans as he tries to subtly move his hand towards his blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. All right, there's a blue flag. Mr. Disfavored, I told you all about honor and duty and the rules and whatnot. As is our custom, we are ready oh, to kill he likes to defend that. our lands, but we kill only in fair battle. We don't slay our prisoners. We know this isn't Kairos's way, but we must have hope. Okay. What do you want? A few want? of my kin have gone missing, and though they may have perished, I have to inquire on the off chance they still live. Oh! If Captain Tarkas Deimos still lives, we would negotiate for his release. <laughs> I murdered that fuck. <laughs> I killed him. Oh shit, I thought it didn't matter. Because, you know, nobody reacted when I did it. And he did ask me to, you know, finish him. 
Oh no! <laughs> He's dead. He asked me to kill him, to be fair. I see. That is as I feared, but thank you for telling me all the same. I prefer closure to wishful thinking. Yes, well, glad that uh, cleans up a whole lot of trouble because, you know, I mean, I guess in a way, not having to negotiate for his release is, uh, it saved me trouble with the chorus and the disfavored, so. And she likes me for being honest, so, you know, I say, I say it's all good. Murder Day keeps the, the, uh, disfavored? Disfavor away. Mmm. Uh. <laughs> if I may make one more inquiry. What of Palox Tyrell? Did he survive? Alright, who's Palox, Palox Tyrell? Do you really have the luxury of matching names to countless tears men you've encountered? You are reasonably certain she's asking about the Vanguard Guard warrior that took Drestus ho hostage at the Edgaring ruins. He did not survive the account. Alright, he's dead too. Alright. He dead. Not slowly saying nothing for a long moment. My apologies, Fatebinder. I had a terrible feeling this errand was in vain from the start. Yes, well, that's a shame. I had no expectations that our friends could be saved, as I'm sure the time for swapping prisoners is long gone. But at least I know of what became of them. That'll have to be enough. Yes, now I got some question for you. Zion stir yours, right? Fair is fair. We shouldn't be socializing with Oathbreakers. I just want some- I just want some answers. Shut up, Beric. I will entertain them as best I can. After all, understanding is the only hope we have. What is it you wish to know? Why do you resist this all-powerful overlord that can cast spells from miles away and, you know, do the fireballs and the storms and whatnot? I grew up without my knee bent to Kairos. Ah, and if what? I'm going to bow to someone, let it be another Tearsman. We've ruled ourselves just fine for centuries, so we'll give our lives so that our sons and daughters might rule themselves. Uh, okay. Uh What makes you think you have a chance? No, we don't. Oh. Those who believed Kairos could be stopped all died years ago, in the first wave of fighting. It's not about the hope of victory. It's about the hope of inspiring others. It is very likely we will fall here in Bendrian's well. But perhaps others will arise elsewhere. Yeah, well, you do realize we got a... We got an overlord who has magic powers equal to an ICBM nuke. You realize that, right? Okay. But a mage like you would be like... I doubt life is any better sworn to some mad Archon. I'd rather stand with my fellow Tearsmen. Or, I suppose, stand immediately behind them in the event of an attack. Hmm. Yeah, you heard me. Way things were years back, you'd all be calling me a water witch and conspiring to sell me out to the nearest sage. Just because I'm helping you stop Kairos doesn't mean I've forgotten the hospitality of ages past. Aha! She got spunk. I like her. Hold on, let me check if this is all properly recording once more. It looks like it is. It looks like it is. Never hurts to check, never hurts to be paranoid. And people wonder why the Tearsmen could never unite in time to fight back. It's refreshing to see that some things never change. But the younger realms, they were beset with constant battle. You make conflict sound like a bad thing. Ah, oh, well, I mean, yes, the it younger depends realms on how you see battles, it. But it was never this wholesale slaughter like we've seen of late. No Tearsman ever cast an edict on the soil, or forced prisoners to kill each other, or butchered Beastman tribes. Eh, eh, hmm. The Beastman stuff is... I have... I, I only hearing it now. Huh. Eh. Huh. I wonder what happened. Only your daughters are really free. There's freedom, then there's trusting idiots with power. Give a man a million marauders, he'll lose sleep worrying over his neighbor's thousand. I prefer my realms ruled by the braver sex. 
For centuries we've let the lands to the women, and the seas to the men. And we did plenty fine until Kairos came around. <coughs> yes, moving on. Yes. <coughs> yeah, not, 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 I'm not saying anything about that one. <laughs> Alright, what about the garrison? I would joke that the voices of Narat left the gate unlatched, but dozens of warriors lost their lives taking the citadel. There is no secret to it. We simply attacked with speed and certainty at a time when the Archons were elsewhere in the tiers. The Scarlet Chorus had a rout, and what few disfavored soldiers were present made an impressive showing. But they were surrounded and overwhelmed once the Chorus fled. Ah, fucking Chorus. Listen to you. Thinking just like the Overlord wants you to think. There always has to be a person in charge or things don't make sense. <laughs> well, we don't answer to anyone. We are each of us sons and daughters of the Tears, and take this task upon ourselves freely. But Captain Tarkas Ari, former Falksman of Queen Vendry and Alanta, is the voice we trust when we seek unanimity. Oh, so you do have some guy in charge. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Oh, Tarkas Ari and Deimos are related. I guess they must be. Yes. Deimos is... Was Ari's brother. We were certain he was dead, but the captain takes family seriously, so I volunteered to find some answers. And now here we are. All right, well, well, what about damn prisoner swaps? That is our way, Binder. Here in the south, only thugs and bandits kill prisoners. The younger realms may be guilty of constant fighting, but we never slay each other when the battle's long over. We're not about to change that now. Ah, well, good on you, I suppose. I mean... <laughs> now, again, to be fair, that guy was asking to be killed. As a rule, Kairos's forces haven't been keen on swapping prisoners. But I know our disfavored prisoners aren't prisoners anymore. I just assumed they were swapped for some of our own. Uh-huh, all right. That's all. ta, -ta. <laughs> Fair enough. But now a question for you. Oh, we're, we're just exchanging questions now, are we? All right. The Edict. I can feel its magic coursing through the air. Everyone can. But those of us enlightened to the currents of magic feel it most. The wording of the edict. What was it? I'm afraid that's confidential. So you will not say. I expected as much. Can it be worse than endless storms or fire pouring from the earth? Not that you'd answer that either. Yeah, it's, it's, this, this is, uh, I assume it's gonna be a fast one. I have another question for you, if you will entertain it. Fine, we've been, we've been on good talking terms. Up to now, in the few moments we've met, so why not? Are we really standing here and chatting with Oathbreakers? It's hard to watch. Like cuddling a goat you're going to kill for dinner. Why not? I mean, goats are cuddly. Cuddly and delicious. Why? I don't see why you can't have both. When I was young, my parents told me the tears were special, and the Overlord's edicts and armies could never touch us. It seems I've been told a hefty sum of lies. Lies! So answer this honestly for me, please. Is it true that Tunon's fate binders can smell truth from falsehood? Nope. No. Thanks for that. I could see why you'd want to foster the mystique all the same. The School of Tides would always tell commoners we didn't know how to summon drinkable water. Once they find out, you can't eat in peace. Wait, so you can summon drinkable water? Alright, that's, uh, that's good to know. And Kairos' edicts. I have heard the sages speak at length that some of the edicts elsewhere in the world have been broken. How is this? Hmm. I see, I got some lore. Uh, varies, ba varies based on the wording of proclamation. If Kairos provides a clause allowing the edict to end, that clause can be satisfied. Uh huh. Ah, so some edicts are forever. The rest are, as long as Kairos has in mind? Needless to say, Kairos' magic is unlike anything we've seen in any Archon. Yes, it's a, it's a very weird one. And one more... Mildly self-indulgent question, but I simply must know. 
Kairos, male or female? You know what? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> huh. Really? You don't know either. You work for the Overlord, but you don't know if she or he has an innie or an outie? I mean... We don't check, right? We don't, we don't exactly just, you know, go visit the, 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 what, whatever the Romans call their bathhouses and then, you know, check each other for, for, for whatever we're packing, right? Huh? Beside that guy, uh, that, uh, whoever he is or she is, they got range. You can't argue with that. Lots and lots of range. Huh. Eh, let's see. Let's see. Well, I don't know, but I have it on good authority that Imperial Horum is stalking. Well, it looks like Kairos gets around. Gets around a lot, but, uh. Huh. Eh. Well, that's perhaps the best answer I've heard to date. Thank you for sating my sexual curiosity. Good, yeah, well, I'm happy to have pleased you before I potentially kill you, but I got a feeling that might not happen. You'll forgive, I hope, the questions. The Overlord and his Archons used to be things of legend. Now they're everyday maladies, and I'm eager to separate the truth from the lies I've been told by House and Guild. Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's a fine motivation, I say. In to our most ancient customs, let us depart in honorable accord. May peace find you, Fatebinder. Oh well, yes, well, I mean, it's not gonna come anytime soon, but yes, I would like some non-war stuff. I do enjoy the conversations, as anyone who watch, who's watching might know. Miss the Will of Kairos. Huh. Wait, what? What's this? I have a favor and wrath. Oh. With two not. Oh, and it's a letter. Rosebuds. Words had had words. Word has reached this court that you have issued the Overlord's edict to the Archons of War and Secret. Know that we understand fully the weight of this burden and appreciate the loyalty you show in its declaration. Provided you survive this span, your service will be duly recognized. As you navigate the idiosyncrasies and mutual an antipathy of our Overlord's War Masters, remember that Kairos' watches all with interest. Those who distinguish themselves, whether fate binder or Arkan, have the opportunity to rise in the Overlord's esteem. Even now, the Northern Courts whisper that a more successful of the two Arkans will be granted rule over the whole of the peninsula. Similarly, your fortunes rest upon the decisions you make. Choose wisely. I see. Well, I mean, here's my boss, so I'm just gonna be polite and thank him for the advice. Uh huh. Yeah, send it. Graven Ash protects. Yes, well. Sure. sure no thing. can do. There's a bit. Faintest outline of soldier arms and bottom of his pawn, a victim of previous battle. Let's see. Wait. Wait, I think I see something now. There. Ooh. Uh huh, claw. Seems to be like, uh. Seems to be buffing b items, but I bet I'll sell them. Like, who has time for buff items? Ooh, there's something over here, too. What's this? Sable root, azure bell, sure. Sure, why not? Grassland of tears stretch far throughout the land. Much of it remains uninhabited and unclaimed by any faction. Quiet down. The stealth mode let me discover things better, or and uh, it moves too slow. Though we gotta go, we gotta go. Anything else in this map? Just to be sure, you know. Can find something interesting. No, all right. To the huh, to the Scarlet Chorus camp it is. Alright, we're here. 
Home sweet home for you, ain't it? Uh, verse, yes, that's her name. Rotting body bearing skull, coarse war paint is screwed upon a wooden pipe. See some kind of deserter? I would hope so. About these guys. Hidden your foot. Shuva Shank and uh, who's this? Quiet Shiv. Alright, it looks like they got issues. Sounds like a job full of fate binder. Uh huh. It proves everything. The warrior slams her fist together in a resounding clap. Like, for instance, whether you're fit to lead that flock of children. Behind her, members of a gang posture with weapon held at ready. Did you not hear the news of the edict? That is a fool. This is a foolish distraction. We ought to be saving our fight for the enemy. The cause warrior looks to his gang, giving him a, giving them a quick nod. Quick nod. What's the problem here? No problem here, Lord Binder. She tosses a blade in the air, catching it with a smile on the way down. Captain Fuckwit here seems like he's about to bulk from this challenge. Thinks just because he used to run a ship, he's qualified to run a gang. Well, I mean, a ship is a very... I mean, it's not easy to run a ship. That's what she, she She spits on the ground, looking up with scowl. So I'm calling him out, because the way I see it, his, warrior ought, his warriors ought to follow me. Not this new blood. Alright, what's your resume? Captain Fuckwit was my father. Fuckwit will do just fine. Haha! <laughs> Wait, that's actually his name, or is this just some humor? Or he points at our opposing gang. If we have to prove our strength, we'll do so happily. But I'll have your hands and feet removed and the rest of you kept for my own use. Mm. Okay, alright. Mm. Uh, I ain't touching that. Okay. Uh huh. What if I whoop all of your asses and now you gotta listen to me? How about that? Be my guest. I always want to see a fate binder in action. He falls pointedly quiet, bird finally strokes one shoulder, seemingly smart enough not to protest. What? What am I looking at here? So I can't just beat both of them, I gotta pick a side. I mean, one of them is gonna survive this. Also, athletics. I'm told to athletics is good for the build. Ah, uh, Super Shank, grab him, scrub his. Ah, uh, scrub your build, keening. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Alright, enjoy the new position, gang boss. Alright, that's. that solved the problem. I got some athletics out of it too, so. I say. it's pretty good. Past this point is chorus territory, and you don't look like someone's conscript. You sure you're in the right place? Rosebuds, f f fight, fate binder of Tunon. Help here. I'm here to help vanquish your breakers. You know, I think I was told to expect somebody, but you seem too ugly to be him. Her lips crumple in a smirk. Why exactly should I let you in? Alright, I know how things work here. Yeah, I'm gonna punch all of you. More importantly, what's this hulking tone of iron doing here? Mm-hmm. Hey, they like me for that. Before she can draw a blade, you advance. Place a foot behind hers and give her a stiff shove on the soldier shoulder. Caught off balance, she tumbles backwards, triggering an outburst of laughter in the other guards. Can't believe you sass the fate bind. You're such a stupid pounce. Yeah, I tell you, we 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 had a special guest coming. The guard waves you in a smile. Come on in, and don't let the ninny shitters in camp give you any guffs. Hey, I got some respect here. That's great. Death now. Well, 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 I want to know about you. Arrow splintered, flinch molted, likely pulled from crop corpses. Alright. Hey, drop anchor if we take... 
<laughs> That's my question. Oh, you're deaf now. Okay. You, as much uh, an accusation as a question, the broad-shouldered woman shakes her head with a scowl. So you're Tunon's fate binder. I was, expecting, I was expecting something more impressive, she bows in spite of her misgiving. Death now, scarlet fury, my time is yours for as long as it amuses me. The fighter effortlessly, effortlessly spins a bronze sword about in her hand. Let's get one thing clear, stick to your words and law, leave the fighting to the grown adults. Your corpse would just be a tripping hazard to those of us having to a proper bit of carnage sport. We've got enough of useless twats dying for our name as it is. All our horde recruits seem good for of late is pilling in a sh howling in a sheet shit reeking mound on the battlefield. She hums low to herself and flips her sword side to side with several death flicks of her wrist. Keep up, and we'll have to toughen our recruitment standards again. Now, what do you need? Say something about a horde tinning? Swelling until it's thundering, then crashing and receding. It's been the way of the chorus for as long as I've been in it. She offers a one-shouldered shrug, ambivalent if anything, but more likely just uncaring. We take our prisoners alive, give them a chance yet to live, to be reborn into something better. Putting any and every able body to the sword like the disfavored do is nothing but a waste. A conquered enemy is but a new ally. It merely requires the proper coercion. Of course, we do sometimes have a problem of lingering loyalties. Deserters are rarely successful in their escape, but they do try. The Vengeance Guards, strengthened by their numerous, numerous blood ties, have been particularly stubborn. So I have a better plan, Hatch. And that might be, I'm thinking, we, re we redouble our efforts to recruit settlers, focusing on the unaligned and unsuspecting instead of flushing us Self to the gills with old breakers, claim from the battlefield. I see, how do exactly do you plan to convince them? Knife point has su sufficed well enough in the past, but you've inspired me to try a more diplomatic approach this day. What do you say, Binder, you might be able to ease them into idea and save lives of their friends and neighbors in the process? Hmm. Alright, sure, why not? Sounds good. Oh? The fury howls a satisfied laugh and smacks you dead on the back. My methods are sure fire. Aha, uh -huh. what are you saying? You see, I'll mark the settlement on your map, she grins, biting a bottom lip body, bloodied. Well, that's a lot of bite. I can't wait to see the outcome of your efforts. What are you expecting? Let's see. Death now counts on finger, conducting more mental tally, some mental tally, from your deeds during the conquest to how you've helped us since then. Suppose I don't expect mu didn't expect much, and you've done nothing to challenge it by scarlet chorus standards. You're no more ordinary than a conscript. Work a little harder, setting yourself apart. Maybe someday you live up to your name. Hey. They love it. She pleads. She peels a surprise, but surprise, but plea. Uh, ah, yeah. She peels a su surprise, but please laugh at your threat, tapping the flat of the blade against her thigh. She can't, can't, can't her neck until it oddly, audibly cracks. Maybe there's something more to you, fate binders. After all, all right. But tell me about the scarlet chorus. We are the voices of Narad's glory made manifest. In the chorus, strength rises and a weak feeds the soil. Death now smiles, standing tall as she extols the army. Our way terrifies the coward and shock the naive, but our tradition exists to offer promise and prestige to those fit to claim it. We abandon all petty rules for one simple law. The strongest must lead. But what if the strongest doesn't want to lead? Hmm... <laughs> I guess he just walks away. Missives, ah. What's your role in the Scarlet Chorus? Death now frowns, her eyes narrowing. Narrowing. Do you not recognize the Scarlet Fury when you see one? We are the warrior spirit of the Chorus. Scholars of sword and shiv. She holds her arm, puffing out her chest. 
In peace, we train those tough enough to endure our lessons but wise enough to learn for the best. In battle, it is our duty to slay our foes and expire, inspire the horde with our skill and bravery. Death now clicks her tongue, looking aside to the others in the camp with an eye roll. We are fearless vanguard of this confused but glorious rabble. How has military life gone? Uh huh, wonder of wonders. I eat what I want, I shit where I want, and I kill who I want. Sometimes I'm even combined pleasures. So eat, shit, and kill at the same time. Uh, it's efficient, if nothing else. I just realized there's a bunch of people tied up over here. Oh god. My enthusiasm for the work brought me here. Decorated scholar, theory veteran, eh? But I'm looking for an advancement. If it meant means killing one of the gang bosses, I'm not above taking a swing at someone bigger than me. They can be bigger than you, just make sure they don't hit harder than you. Wise words, sister. Alright, keep your thoughts yourself, chorus maggot. Alright, that's fine. Is that Barrick saying something? And we, what else we got? Murky red water, sabo limbs, bob under the earth. I hope those aren't human limbs. Better plans are scribble over blood stained map or tears. Arrow is pointed for, towards the inner rings of Venrinwell Valley. Small circles are drawn around Citadel. Alright, that's easier enough to understand. What we got here? Shattered eyes. Ah, see. Junk, that's what it is. Provisions are withered with rod. You should really take care of your provisions <laughs> better. Did I just found something? Hold on. Camp, camping supplies, and uh, huh. lesser healing books. Have a look here. Well, well, well. What do you have here? Rod spear. All right. We could sell it if nothing else. So, Salveros. Wait, you guys look like disfavored. 